Got to get one good one there. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I nice see you guys early this morning. It's a late night. Not much sleep. But uh, thank you all for being here. Do we have questions? Yeah. I think James White deserves it. It'd be nice for him. But, uh, you know, it took a real team effort. There were so many plays. I got back to my room last night and uh, pretty late and was still pretty wired. So I watched the highlights. And, uh, you know, you just, you know, go through the sequence of all those plays and how many critical plays needed to be made. And the coach talks about situational football and there was so much of that that went on to score two two-point plays uh, like we did down 16 against you know a great football team and uh, it was just a great team performance so I'm so proud to be a part of this team uh, you know we faced a lot of adversities uh, over the course here and overcame it with a lot of mental toughness and uh, it was just a great great way to really culminate the season you know we've gotten to this game before and not finished it off the way that we wanted and um, you know it took a kind of a miraculous effort to to do it and uh, just so happy that we were able to get it accomplished. Tom right here Tom Lydon from Fox 25 first of all congratulations uh, secondly a little housekeeping first do you have any update on where the jersey is and then the third part of the question is this what can happen is this the next step in the process to improve the relationship between you and the commissioner? Well, I don't, yeah, no, I didn't, the jersey, yeah, I put it in my bag, and then I came out, and it wasn't there anymore, so it's unfortunate, because that's a nice piece of memorabilia, so if it shows up on eBay somewhere, someone let me know, I'll try to track that down, um, so it's just such an exciting game, and, um, you know, it's, it's an honor to be here and have the commissioner give, you know, present us with this trophy, um, you know, it certainly means a lot, and, uh, you know, my kids will be happy to see that trophy. They always ask, Daddy, what about the trophy? And, uh, you know, I get to bring them one home, so it's pretty cool. Tom, Peter Schrager, NFL Network and Fox Sports. Uh, you mentioned the adversity and what you've had to deal with this year, both professionally and personally. Uh, last night, when you get back, you get a chance to take, kind of consult the whole thing and take it all in. What are your reactions when it's just you and your family and you're in an intimate setting on what this last year has been like? Well, it's just, you know, it's, it's a lot of emotion. And, um, you know, football is such an emotional sport. And, you know, you come after a game where it's a, it's a long game. It's four hours long. And there's the highs and the lows. And being in there at halftime, you know, we weren't feeling great about, you know, how we had played. But we still really didn't feel out of the game. And then, you know, got off to a slow start in the third quarter. Then finally got, you know, started executing a lot better and it's certainly on offense um, so you're pretty spent after the game and I think there's a lot of emotions from the the lows of you know not playing great to the highs of playing great and then finally you know at the end um, you know it was just a great way to finish so to celebrate with my teammates and then to see my family it was just a night I'll never forget so it was a uh, it's just a great win for our team and like I said there's so many great teams I've been a part of and uh, just happy that this team, you know, will be able to be mentioned with some of those other great teams because of ultimately the way that we finish the season. Tom, just say it. Matthew Cherry from Gridiron Magazine. It's well documented that Joe Montana is a childhood hero of yours. What does it mean personally to surpass what he did and indeed any other quarterback by winning the fifth Super Bowl? Yeah, I was, you know, blessed to grow up in the Bay Area at a great time and, and um, you know, we went to a lot of 49er games over the years, and, uh, you know, Steve Young and Joe Montana were my idols, and they still are. So every time I get around either of them, you know, I get, uh, you know, just excited to, to see them. So, um, you know, for me to be able to, to be a part of five championship teams is, um, you know, is it's a great feeling just because I've been a part of five great teams and all those teams have been different in their own way. And, uh, it's, it's so hard to win. And, uh, you know, we just been blessed to, to be able to be a part of a, you know, a great organization that, 
Um, you know, we just, it's a lot of great teammates over the years, so many great coaches that put us in a position to win. And that's all you can hope for as a player. And, you know, our coaches, you know, they put us in the position to win. And then, you know, we as players, we go out and we try to, you know, lay it all on the line. And, um, you know, it's, it's great for this team to be able to lay it on the line like we did last night, you know, with everything at stake and then make enough plays to win the game against a team that, you know, was a, a great team. They, they gave us all we could handle. And, uh, you know, I give them a lot of credit. They're a great football team. Matt played a great game. Their defense played a great game. They had pressure on us all night. And, um, you know, again, it took a lot of great plays for us to overcome the, the, the deficit and the hole that we dug. But, uh, you know, we were able to do it. And, uh, you know, we'll be able to celebrate together, uh, you know, for a long time. So I think that's just a great feeling. Morning, Tom. Sal Palantoni from ESPN. Morning, Sal. Congratulations. Thank you. Tom, after the game, I saw you on the riser, and you were looking for your mom. And then you had that moment with her. Uh, describe that moment and what it was like for you and your mother. It was great. You know, it was great. She's been through a lot. You know, way harder than what I went through last night, way harder than what our team went through last night. And uh, my dad's been there every step of the way, so... They set such a great example for me, you know, and, uh, you know, all families go through challenging times personally, but, uh, you know, she has a lot of support and a lot of love and uh, I was just happy last night to be able to celebrate with her. And, uh, you know, she hadn't been to a game all year, so what a hell of a game for her to be at. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was, it was really great. It was great to celebrate. My sisters were there, my wife. I had all my kids. My little girl was there. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it would be nice to go home and spend some time with them. They haven't had their dad around very much lately. So it would be nice to, you know, go home and be a dad for a little bit. Morning, Tom. Frank Carpano from NBC10 in Providence. I was wondering what uh, your perspective was on Julian's catch and if you've seen the video and if uh, your opinion of it has changed at all. Yeah, I saw the catch on those beautiful screens in that stadium, and that was a ridiculous play. I mean, just unbelievable. Jules has had a great season, great career. I mean, he's matured so much as a player, and, you know, he's one of my best friends, and I trust him so much. You know, he's, I'm always, he's always someone I'm looking for, and it was a big situation, and, uh, you know, we've had a few bad few catches like that go against us, and it was nice for one to go for us um, at a big moment. So it was, a, it was a big play on that drive. And uh, I still don't know how he came up with it, but, you know, he did. And it was, uh, it was a great play at a great time. Good morning, Tom. Uh, ben Volan from the Boston Globe. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, last two Super Bowls, America's gotten to learn about a couple of unsung heroes. Yeah. For you guys, last time Malcolm Butler, this time James White. Yeah. Uh, his season didn't end so great in Denver last year. Can you talk about some of the growth you've seen out of James White this year? Yeah. I, um, I, I was telling uh, you know, Coach earlier, James White is like, like my oldest son. Like, he just does everything right, and you can never get mad at him. Because even when he, it, you know, if he doesn't make the play, he, he feels worse about it than you do, you know. So he's just, uh, he's just the best teammate. Um, you know, he's an incredible player. He's been that way since he really assumed that big role when Dion got hurt last year. And um, I'm so proud of him and everything he's accomplished. I've seen him grow from a rookie, uh, you know, to working his tail off to becoming a big factor in all these games. And, you know, that, you know, that, particular role in our offense, you know, in the Kevin Falk mold, in the, you know, Danny Woodhead mold, in the Shane Vereen mold, and ultimately, you know, what, you know, Dion and what James have done has been incredible for our offense because they're tough matchups. And uh, not only can they run, but, and not only can they catch, but they pass protect too. And there's a lot of toughness and they're so well coached by Ivan Fears, who's a great coach for our team and he gets those guys so ready every week and uh you know it's just a uh, great performance by him when we needed it the most on the biggest stage and he really came through for us hey tom tom over here uh we saw the emotion from you a couple times last week we saw the we saw the emotion from you last night um i was just wondering how you went about compartmentalizing all of that for those four and a half hours 
uh, yesterday and how important that was. Yeah, uh, I'm a pretty emotional guy, so that's a, uh, and for the most part during the game, it's channeled toward, you know, the emotion of the game and bringing my enthusiasm and, and energy for our team. Um, you know, coach always says, you know, we play once a week and there's three hours where you need to be ready to go. And you got to put, you know, everything aside over the course of the week to build for those three hours. And, um, you know, our team's done a great job of doing that. So football is a game of energy and emotion and attitude. And, and uh, you know, this team show that all those things, you know, are positive. Even, even you know, last time we lost was against Seattle at home and we had four shots from the one yard line and couldn't get in and you know we talked last night about or the day before the game about you know even after that game we came into work the next day you know ready to go and uh you know there was no whining and complaining um you know it was like all right how are we going to get better and if we're in that situation again how are we going to get the ball in and you know we were on the one yard line last night for the whole season at stake and got the ball in two more questions Hey, Tom, Yanni Krakis, WPRI in Providence. I know they're all special and unique in their own right, but how do you rank this one amongst the five rings you have? And what is it about Patriots Super Bowl is always coming down to the last play? Yeah, that's a good question. I, you know, um, they do, they have, they have all come down to the end. And uh, that's okay, as long as you win. So, it keep them exciting. And, um, you know, I wish... There would be, we could get away from someone. We just, you know, haven't played well enough to do that. But, you know, we played well enough in a lot of these situations late in the game to get the job done. And uh, we were able to make just enough plays last night to get the job done too. So it was just a great performance by a great team against another great opponent that I have a lot of respect for. And I give them a lot of credit because they gave us all we could handle. And, uh, but I'm just glad we won. Tom. Hi, Gary Myers, New York Daily News. Hi, Gary. Congratulations. Um, I saw how upset you were in the locker room last night about the jersey. So I have two questions. First of all, had you intended to give it to your mom or to your parents, and did that factor into it at all? I, um, I, I, those are pretty special ones to keep, you know. But um, what can you do? I'll take the ring, and that's good enough for me. And then... <laughs> Have you had a chance to reflect on it at the age of 39, what you've accomplished is almost unprecedented or probably is unprecedented in team sports anywhere? You know, I don't feel 39. I, 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 uh, I hang out with a bunch of 20-year-olds, so that makes you feel pretty young. And, uh, you know, I try to just take care of myself through learning through a lot of positive and negative experiences with that and when you're in a locker room for 17 years you kind of learn what to do and what not to do and what works for you and uh, you know I found probably a unique way that's a little outside the box um, that's really worked and you know I try to spread that message to a lot of other players because you know football is a demanding sport it's a demanding sport on your body and your body is your asset and if you are hurting all the time football is no fun and when I was 25 I was hurting all the time and I couldn't imagine playing as long as I did because you know if your arm hurts every day when you throw you know how can you keep playing and now at 39 my arm never hurts and my you know my body never hurts and you know I, even after I get banged up you know I know how to take care of it and jump on it right away so that you know, I can feel good for a Wednesday practice. So it really allows you to be able to continue to improve because you can practice. And, you know, hopefully I can keep passing that message on to a lot of younger athletes, um, you know, that want to do the same thing because football is such a great sport. And I love it, and it's demanding, and it's taxing. But, uh, you know, I think it's the greatest sport in the world. And, uh, you know, I just love what I do. So thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm going to take this home. I'm taking it home.
Yes, Coach. 